Hi guys, um, I've had a few messages recently um, with regards to how I um, went about the battle damage on my um, Terminators. Um, I explained uh, loosely um, the way that I went about doing that was literally burning holes straight through the plastic. Um, but I can understand that there's not many people uh, willing to actually try that technique just on someone's say so. So. I'm actually going to use my uh, model here and uh, try and do a live demo of uh, me burning through the plastic. This could go horribly wrong and um, I'll be left with egg on my face. But anyway, we're going to try it. We're going to see what we can do and um, wish me luck, eh? <laughs> okay, right, back with the next one and uh, I'll be showing you uh, literally how I go about doing it. Okay, guys, uh, tools of the trade cheap and cheerful candle um, I'd probably normally actually do it over um, uh, my gas cooker because obviously um, the metal would heat quicker the flames are bigger so it makes sense but it's not practical um, for this uh, how to um, so we're just using one of these little jobbies here um, safety pin is what we're going to be using we're going to be using a safety pin um, it's quite a thin sharp um, tip on that so we'll get get some nice holes there uh, and this is just your uh, bog standard paper clip and um, obviously we'll extend that as much as we can because um, we, we don't want to get too close to the flame with our uh, fingers also um, an old um, hobby knife um, so I mean if I damage this in any way um, with the heat um, it's not going to cause a problem to, to, to it's not used for anything at the moment anyway, the uh, blade still. That will give us our nice slashes rather than holes. Um, so they're the tools that we're going to be using. And I've just got to try and position myself so I can get a nice camera shot and uh, show you um, me uh, doing the holes. So uh, bear with me, with me while I uh, get that set up. Okay guys. There it goes. I'm just heating the tip up as you can see here. Um, working with uh, this alloy, um, you know when it's ready, I mean, yeah, well, pretty much with uh, most uh, alloys, uh, uh, it will start to obviously glow towards the tip when you know it's ready. Um, the trick really is to get it hot enough so it actually starts to glow. Uh, when you actually get it to that stage, when it's actually started to glow, um, it will just cut through the plastic log butter so then the second part of the trick is uh, making sure that uh, when you uh, actually put it through the plastic you um, make sure you don't press too hard because if you do you, you're just going to really hash it up so just lightly press it in really this is taking forever with this little flame obviously if you're in a position to use a stronger and better flame, then by all means, definitely do it. I mean, I normally wouldn't use this um, candle, but we'll be all right. Okay, I'll try and get this in shot now. Okay, I'm still heating it. I'll move my hand. There we go. Let's try and see what we can do. that get into shot let's try it again let's heat this up and do another one try and get this one a bit deeper here we go see that there that's pretty good that's a good one we've got him good there and obviously as it starts to cool down you'll only get little little dents in the armour but we can see three nice chinks there um, right, I'm going to cut it here because um, obviously my new um, memory card's not come so I'm still limited to my three uh, amazing minutes so right, I'll be back in a sec ok guys back again I'm just going to put some little dents on this there, there's one little one there 
See if we can get that in shot. You can see that part of the model there where um, I've clipped it off the sprue and it, even after foiling it down it's still left a bit of an indentation. So I'm just going to work with what I already have with the knife and uh, make, make that a bit more prominent. Um, so again I'm just heating up uh, the knife. Um, on my huge flame. <laughs> Okay, uh, right, where were we? Let's try and get this to focus as much as we can on what we want to do. Okay. It's cooled down quite a bit now, so we've not got. Mm, not too bad. Just a little bit there, I think oh, that one turned out nicely. Um, basically, what I will say also, uh, let's just pop that back on. Yeah, um, yeah what I was going to say is normally, uh, if I'm completely honest, I wouldn't actually have um, done the bullet holes and before putting the transfers on or decals. Um, because obviously now it's going to be much harder for me to get the uh, decal to sit down on the actual um, shoulder pad because obviously it's not a smooth spherical surface anymore you've got those bumps and lumps that we've just created um, but um, g g going forward what what I would do obviously now let's move this away we don't want to get the flame anywhere near this plastic um, yeah, I'd uh, maybe put maybe one of the couple of lines up there, um, a few there. I normally put a transfer on the uh, bottoms of the legs near the shin area of the armour. Um, I've left a, a shocking mould line there. I normally get rid of the mould lines, but you always miss one, so I'm sure I'm going to uh, weather that area there to uh, disguise that, disguise that mould line. Um, if the uh, model looks a bit shiny, it's because um, I just uh, watered it down. Um, I'd left these on the shelf for the last week or two, so the, there was a little bit of dust on there, and I, I didn't want that getting mixed in with the uh, holes that I melted. I, I didn't want any debris that I didn't want actually there. Um, right, uh, I'm going to finish it here. I might show a few more um, bullet holes, um, so I'm back in a minute, hopefully. Hi guys, back again. Um, right, I'm going to uh, sort out that problem area that I mentioned earlier, the uh, little mould line there. And um, that's another thing that I, I'd always suggest to people that have the time or um, uh, are bothered about um, making the models um, um, look to a very high standard. Mould lines can spoil a paint job so much. Um, I know it seems a bit hypocritical of... Uh, me um, telling people what to do, <laughs> uh, knowing there's a big, big glaring uh, mould line there. But I mean, they're easy. They're easy to overlook. Um, if I wasn't battle damaging this miniature, I'd, I'd just sand it down, and, and and then I would have just hand painted over that one little section there. It, it wouldn't have been too hard. But um, I definitely recommend um, getting rid of all your mould lines if you can. Just scrape them with with your hobby knife. Um, you know, if you're going to spend a lot of time painting your miniatures, it's uh, it's definitely worthwhile preparing your miniatures before going on to the uh, fun part, the painting part. Right, I've um, got the uh, paperclip brewing away in the background, so let's bring it in. Right, okay. I'll get a bit up the top there. Let really me damage that up. Oh, that's not too bad. Might extend off the top part there. Just break into that a bit. So I'm just going to heat up the blade there. In fact, no, I'm going to do the bottom. 
I'm going to split the bottom and it's going to look like there's going to be a big scratch that's gone into a cut so it's going to break up the mould line, that's what we're going to do. Right. I feel like I'm on a game show looking at the uh, camera as I'm actually doing this and uh, I'm, I'm on a timer, if I don't beat the timer I'm uh, going to get disqualified. I think I've got less than a minute. No pressure. Right, here we go. Just get that up there a bit. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I'd also, and while I've got a few seconds remaining, I'd put a few lines in the tops of the uh, knee area of the armour, because obviously when they kneel down, they're going to scuff all that area. Uh, maybe a few little marks on, on the uh, feet areas, and maybe a little line on there. But I mean, you can go a bit OTT um, with all the effects, so it's it's a case of sometimes less is more. I mean, I've probably put a bit too much on there, but I was trying to disguise some of the um, bad uh, clean-up work. Right, I'm getting beeped at, so uh, that's it for this one, guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Okay guys, I've uh, finished up uh, with all the modelling, or I should say um, with all the burn holes, bullet holes, melt holes, basically all the damage has been dealt. Um, we can definitely say that uh, this Terminator was uh, rolling ones against sixes. Um, things I did off camera um, was um, some work to the knee joints there I finished the uh, other lightning claw off I only put a, a little bit of battle damage there um, a few little marks on the back plate Not, nothing too deep um, anything else um, put a bit of a mark there I don't think I did that on camera I'm not sure uh, some stuff down there um, that's it, I mean as you can see the model looks like it's in quite a state at the moment um, how I went about getting it up to this stage which is quite messy uh, was I literally um, gave it a, a, a primer coat of uh, Army Painters um, um, colour primers, it's, I think it's called navy blue and then uh, I've, I washed over it with a, a bad black wash and uh, after that I'll uh, I'll be going through um, my um, um, painting painting techniques I'll probably use this model as my first uh, one um, I should be getting the memory card within the next day or two and uh, and uh, maybe we'll carry on with this guy I mean I said I was going to do it a while back but uh flaked out on you guys um, but I received a message uh, very recently um, from someone in the community and uh, it was it was a, a, a lovely message um, from a genuine um, uh, person, and uh, it's just you know it's, it's those sorts of messages that you know you, you get them and you receive them and you think you know this is why I love this hobby. Um, you don't get you don't get that sort of camaraderie if you like, or you know that sort of I don't know um, I don't know how to put it into words. You don't get that sense of community anywhere else, basically. Um, you know, in the computer gaming uh, community, I mean, you've only got to go on Xbox Live to to realise that there's a, there's a there's a big difference between the people that we socialise with to the to the people in that sort of um, uh, group. Uh, I'm not saying everyone's bad, but you know, I'm I'm quite happy to be a, a war gamer. Right, uh, that was quite a lot of rambling actually. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's that's finished up this one, and uh, we'll be going on uh, maybe to painting um, uh, soon. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.